everyone, this is me, a quick video talking about Manuki position and what I prefer. This here is the normal Manuki position. As you can see, these are on the finger side. So when my top hand goes right here, it's on the finger side right there. And the same on this side right here. This is the most common way that Manuki are done on katana. But to me, these do not feel that great in the hand. Now keep in mind, Manuki were not originally even on the finger side. Manuki were actually originally on the palm side, on Tachi. So if you imagine, if this here is a Tachi, okay, this Manuki then will, still, will be closer up towards the Suba, and when the sword is being worn, that is the part that will show closest to the Suba. So when you can compare the two, you'll notice that pretty much they're in the same spot. So it is thought that what happened throughout history is that when the switch was made from the Tachi to the Katana, the sword flipped over, but the Manuki did not. So as you'll notice now, that Manuki is no longer visible, which is how it would be. So the Manuki are now right there. The original purpose of the Manuki was for one to cover up the Makugi, and the Makugi is the little bamboo pin right here. So originally that was meant to cover that up, but then what happened was, of course, it just didn't make much sense to put them there because then you'd have to completely unwrap the ska to be able to take the makugi out unless you left the manuki intentionally loose, which then posed another problem. The second purpose of these was to serve as palm swells. So you will notice that right there, it fits on the palm side, and then the diamonds are left open for the fingers. Excuse me. So this here feels like a very ergonomic grip this way, and that is the way that I like them, is the Gyaku Manuki. Now, there is another variation, and this is another variation that I prefer over the Manuki being on the finger side, and that is right here. They are right smack dab in the middle. So as I am holding the sword, you will notice that they are out of the way of my hands. I very much prefer this over having them on the finger side. To me, having them on the finger side, it just doesn't feel right for me. So, these two Manuki configurations are what I prefer. The Gyaku Manuki, like my Shinwa Odachi has here, and the one right here where the Manuki are in the center, on my custom Ryan sword Yaito. Interestingly, there are still some styles of swordsmanship which require that the Manuki are on the palm side, not the finger side. So, just like this. And that is because, once again, they are serving that function as palm swells, and not something that is basically just there for looks. And, as I said, in my opinion, I don't like the feeling of them on the finger side. To me, it actually is detrimental to the proper grip, in my opinion. Now, I know that the having them on the finger side is what is common, and there's a lot of people who prefer it, but I don't. I prefer Gyaku Manuki or right in the center. Having the Manuki right in the center was done traditionally as well, but there was some other things that could be done. And that is, say, like this one here, for example. You will notice that this here is a battle wrap. The Manuki are not really too much under the fingers. I mean, for me, it's right under my pinky, but that's because I have big hands. But for the person with average size hand, that wouldn't be under their fingers. Even this here, I can deal with because these here are flatter and you know, it doesn't pose as much of a problem, in my opinion, as the standard way poses. Now, interestingly, there were other Manuki that were done as well. One thing you will notice sometimes is that the Manuki are so thin that they don't, wouldn't really serve as much of a function for palm swells. And that is, in my opinion, probably because with them being on the finger side, as I said, it really, in my opinion, takes away from the grip. Which, you know, when we look at a lot of Manuki, then basically just backs it up. Now, to me, even those I would prefer on the palm side, but sometimes the Manuki are too long to even have to serve as palm swells. So sometimes it doesn't work out as well. And on those, once again, I would prefer them in the center. 
Historically, some swords, Manuki though, were different. For example, there were loner swords, which were basically swords that were thrown together, put in the armory for if someone needed a sword. Well, these swords often did not have actual Manuki. The Manuki were actually coins. So, you know, it wasn't the standard Manuki by any means. Some loner swords didn't have Manuki at all, so then it wouldn't really matter at all then. Uh, some Satsuma Rebellion swords had mismatched Manuki, they had the coins for Manuki, they had rocks for Manuki, or they had no Manuki, once again. So, Manuki throughout history, they were very different, even the placement of them was different. Samurai used what they liked. There were some katanas that had them on the palm side, as I prefer. So, I hope this was helpful and informative. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!